Okay. All right, but other than that, do you guys can hear me? Nice loud and clear. Loud and clear. Okay, awesome. Ding 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 ding. Good morning, boys and girls. How are you guys doing? Classes in session. Good morning, Mr. Menes, and how are you today? I am doing wonderful on this wonderful Wednesday. I'm just joking. I know we're all done with and long, long and done with high school days, but who could remember the first, I mean, that long day of high school? Show hands. Well, the room's kind of dark, but I see a few hands. Okay. Yeah, a lot of hands. <laughs> wow. You all have a really good memory now, because I mean, I finished about five years ago. I mean, five years ago. And I can't remember the last day. God. Jesus, you'll give me once my money. I thought my memory was, would think I'm good. Powerful. But you know what? When I finished high school, like I just knew I wanted to be done. And that's all I decided to remember. But you see, I had a different mindset back then. In my mind, I was thinking about how sweet life would be. No more teachers breathing down your neck like, so you finish? You finish? Mm -hmm. And trying to figure out what I'm doing and why I'm doing this and that. And no, no, no. I was like, no more this and no more that. Freedom! Finally, freedom, sweet freedom. But guess what? Life hit me so hard like a pile of bricks. I mean, like, like I was good to see. And it showed me that school really is never, I mean, never over. What am I talking about? <laughs> ah, you haven't experienced life, you know what I'm talking about. One way or another, life always has a lesson to teach us. A lesson to teach you and a lesson to teach me. Believe it or not, whether you learn a lesson or not, that determines your whole trajectory in life. And you know, I didn't I realized this, or I didn't realize this until I started to listen and really care what my mom had to say. Because I can remember one time my mom, she kept saying, did you apply for you in time? And I would say, no, mom, I'll do it when I'm done. Shocking news, I didn't. And that one decision, it cost me another year at UB. And if you survived, you'll be like me. Then you know time is precious. It's precious. Quite precious. Mm -hmm. Very precious. And from that point on, you guessed it. I took that life lesson a lot more seriously. And you know why? Because it helped me so much. And it showed me another important life lesson beside the whole, you know, this new year, this thing. And that, and that lesson is that life never, and I mean never stops teaching us lessons. Whether you like school or not, believe it or not, you're always going to have a teacher. And yes, we ain't always going to be able to stand some of them. However, we're going to have to be able to pick apart or be able to separate the lessons from what they're trying to show us from their attitude or from the type of person that they are. Otherwise, we're going to have a hard time. And I mean a hard time <laughs> if we do when, when it comes to learning that lesson. I can remember, remember when I first started working at the Ministry of Tourism. And I was, I mean, fresh off the beat like a newbie, you know, the, 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 the basically the rookie, the starting lineup. And I didn't know, you know, some things you do and some things, you no, know, you don't do. And I didn't really take that into account and tell a co-worker, a co-worker who like, I, I mean, when I tell you, I never stand this person, like every single second they can react and like, no, 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 you don't do this, you don't do that, no, 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 what you doing? But after a while, <laughs> I understood you, especially when they told me and showed me another important life lesson, which is whenever you have an issue with your superior and you know you did your job, and I mean you could prove that, always CC Mr. So-and-so and their superior with evidence whenever you address them by email, whenever you want to bring up that issue. And because I actually decided to hear what she had to say and listen, that saved me a lot of times. I mean, a lot of times in tourism. And that allowed me to start tourism with a good reputation and to show us a leave one with a good one too. 
And by me deciding to be open to what she had to say, he was like, this annoy me half the time. At the end of the day, it allowed me to also be able to really explore a lot about myself that I didn't know and really be able to make the most of my experience at tourism. Another lesson too that I could share with y'all that I learned after high school and even college is to never, and I mean never, remain complacent. Oh, and yeah. that simply means that you're deciding not to think you're right, get more comfortable with something or situation because when you do and disaster and misfortune strikes, you're left alone with little to nothing. Wondering, what, what do I do now? On the contrary, when you're not complacent, you could say, that sucks, but at least I could do this and I have this to fall back on. So life ain't over. And trust me, life sometimes hits you where it hurts. I mean, like, like sometimes life will give you a slap that will cross your head to turn all the way around. And I can tell you because one time I got Mike Tyson so hot, oof, my, I can never forget it. And yes, I know, but when you get hit hard, you make up words sometimes, okay? And this was when I worked as a car rental agent some time ago. And everything was just like, I don't know if you guys ever watched the movie Legally Born, as Ellie would say, fabulous. And I was, you know, even getting the lingo and code. And I mean, that was hard. Just for them to tell me, we're sorry, but I'm going to have to let you go because you can't add you on that insurance. Mm -hmm. So after that, you know, I, 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 I tried to pretend as if, you know, okay, like life goes on, doesn't phase me or whatever. But newsflash, it did. But you know what? I always made sure, you know what, to always have another job in mind. And because I decided to do that, in the event that something like this would happen, I was able to get hired right after that. And be able to say, you know what? That's fine. Because at the end of the day, you're not going to stop my shot. Now, if I decide, I mean, to get all that, not even be able to tell, looking for jobs, and put all my ducks on that one job, let's just say I probably was driven over the bridge. Because I mean, with these BPL light bills, you can't say, oh, I don't work. No, you can't say you don't work nowadays, plain and simple. Because if you do, you're lying. But <laughs> looking, back, looking back on it all, I continue to realize that you really never stop learning one way or another. Because when you think you've seen it all, think again. Life always has a way of humbling us or just showing us new things that we probably never considered or a new way of even seeing something. But no matter what happens, we have to decide. If you're going to be receptive to what life offers us or not. But always remember, though, when you decide to be open and to ever be a student in life, you'll be able to curve. And I mean, curve from a life curve ball. Because life throws some curve balls that can knock your neck off. And that really always, that comes in handy a lot of times and shows us, too, how to really make the most out of life, especially when we think that situation can't really bring forth any food or bring forth anything meaningful to us. And that's something that we have to also remember to always hold to the most importance because guess what? When you think you're done, think again. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And please feel free to call me anytime. Class is dismissed. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. minutes, and, and remind us that if we think we are finished, think again. Think again. Think again. <laughs> so, our now our general, our general evaluator, our president himself, President Jones. Well known as, I don't know as President from Ireland. Yes, President from Ireland. Our Andy Junkie, 
and our awesome support. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and in interest of time. For my evaluations, I will only go within zero to 60 seconds, maybe a little bit over, but I'm beaming for our one five. So the good TM will be assisting me with that. Now, before I get started, we want the gen. Thank you. The role of the general evaluator is to simply To provide critique, praise, and suggestions of the observations to work on for improvement on all aspects of the educational session for better in the near future. All right, so we can start the timer now for who's the person who's our stroke master? Boom. Who's our stroke master? You all have to be stuck. Hey, the court. PTM Wallace, please join me. It is always a pleasure to have you here at the virtual as well as physical lectern. So, Wallace, please join me. Uh, I always caution you keep it PG. So, yes, document is good, but you gotta remember certain topics are a bit sensitive when it comes to public setting. So, we always need to be about that. You're good at what you do. We just need you to be a bit more mindful of when you do it. Peter Wallace, do you have any? Fatigue spaces for our process of master. Yes. <laughs> okay. His voice, he projected his voice nice and clear. Mm -hmm. um, he, he explained his role. So, oh, okay, so again, yes. The, the, your role as your master was clearly explained. Your voice, you projected your voice nice and well. And as far as um, what you did well, I do think that to me you enjoyed you enjoyed your jokes as you presented your jokes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. I really don't have any. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, you did the same, which you do better. All right. <laughs> you are tuning in today. All right. Next, we have our Lexicologist. Lexicologist, TMD, are you there? Yes, I am. Yes. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Do you have any words for the Lexicologist? Like I said, she explained what the Lexicologist Yes, I did. All right. And she was very clear, nice and loud. Maybe not do speakers. <laughs> um, and I appreciate her PowerPoint. You know, because. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you great. so much. That's the only thing I. All right. Now, to add to that, if I may caution you on, on a few things, please pick on our PTMs and our guests. We want to we want to give them the opportunity to be speaking that says they're speaking tone and their flow. So we encourage you to you know don't be afraid. Yes, you can pick on our postmaster, but remember our PTM suggests they both voice. Thank you. Okay, no problem. All right. How are you doing time? Oh, I'm older. Next up, we have our table topic master. <laughs> Yeah. Well, friend, how are you girls? It's so good to see you at the left sends after your hiatus last month. So, don't go that way. <laughs> <laughs> so your table talk session, I truly enjoyed it. And I love how you gave everyone an option to say, do you want to pass or pass? Do you want to take it or pass? Smart. Whoa. <laughs> do you want to take, do you want to say one? Hey, really just say pass or play. That's one. all. That's all. Just say pass or play. You, you really I didn't know what person you were going to choose, and then added a bit more of random this story because you know, they can pass it, and who are you going to choose? Like that yeah. really was a unique way for a table topics. So I, I greatly enjoyed that. Tia Rollins. Well, she, as usual, she explained the table topic. Voice was very clear. And um, what I liked about you, you was confident, looked very, very experienced. 
अरे मेरी भी कितना दिन तो बाहर सिस्टर चैनल ही बाद में ही है नेक्स्ट अप वी हैव आर फर्स्ट स्पीकर Yeah, because you take your picture, so you know. Right. <laughs> Our first speaker. Ready? Be a member. I must say you, you hit one or two nerves, but it's fine. Like sometimes a social master, we cannot be afraid to hit on topics that really get us thinking, get us in our feels, and really help us to get a better insight of what's going on with us and what's going on around us. It was a great speech. I do encourage you to use a bit more for with writing. You know, have it really help to sink in some of those points. I really enjoyed the conversational tone that you had because since, like, since now, it's something new you can really trust, you know, just open up from there. It's not going to happen, so it's going to cry. But, you know, for someone like Tia Mango, who is very much, uh, even more comfortable, like, cry on the shoulder. But Tia Rollins. Tia Rollins, um, he was clear in the topic, especially by his panel fun. Um, he spoke, he projected his racist, I would say to the best of his ability, I think, in or on him. There's more. There is more. <laughs> there is more. <laughs> All right. All right. He had a good PowerPoint props. And if I had to give any advice, I'd like to hear him talk louder. All right. Thank you. It was an awesome speech. Love the presentation. I look forward to seeing you present it again. Very right? <laughs> So I guess we can do it or you want me to say it? I need you to focus and continue talking. Yeah, just continue. It is. DJ Williams. Hey. Hi. A blast of energy every time you hit the virtual lecture, and I really enjoyed it. And of course, your body language. Your gestures, everything that you did really help us to envision uh, to envision the whole scenario if we were looking at the dog and it's like we were looking at the window just watching you. I didn't want to help you, but I was just looking at the window watching you, sipping my cup of tea, just enjoying the presentation. It really was, you had a good time to work for Eddie and just your body language. You didn't, uh, you didn't hug the body, you know, certain, certain points. It's like, is he going to hug it? Is he going to hold it? But no, you really. They had moved around, it was a bit of a speaking area. So it was a well balanced speech, which I enjoyed. Being honest. But um, I was not sure, maybe he did and I didn't, but I I wasn't clear on what the topic was. Was it in the sense? The chairperson. Uh, yeah, okay, that. No problem, no problem. You've got to stay. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. All right. Um, of course, projecting the voice. You don't need a microphone there. <laughs> and kept us all tete. And you could couldn't go to sleep on, on day already. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I agree, it truly was amazing. You always find a unique way of presenting something to us. It's like, what are you going to do next? It's almost like my level of randomness, but you have a bit of beautiful chaos to your magic. So I look forward to seeing you speak to that virtual actor. And this election very, very soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next up. Are you there? Yes. Yep. Present. <laughs> I'm a PE teacher and I'm about to put you to work. <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> Were you sitting down during your speech? Yeah. Wow. Thanks, Kareem. Um <laughs> <laughs> Well, so, yeah. so a good bit. I'd say honestly. Can't really move too much in my area. Were you looking at your notes during your speech? I glanced in here now. Okay. So the reason why I asked you those two things and this was to you all stay if you're doing virtual, you want to be able, it can all it can be obvious that you're sitting down because of your body language and how you're a bit stiff during your speech. 
So yes, you may be in the comfort of your own home, but you still want to be mindful of your presentation itself because if you're sitting down, you can be limited in your movement. Where if you're standing up, you have a bit of flexibility to really move around in your camera angle. As well as to your notes. It's good to look at your notes every so often, but you don't want to make it as obvious as possible where it's almost a distraction to someone who is really mm -hmm. looking out to see exactly how much you've grown based on the last time that you spoke. Because you are growing. Yeah. And you are finding new ways to present yourself. Definitely. But of course, it's just a matter of, you know, little tricks here and there that continues to make it easier and a better flow. So when you do have your notes, you may like you may want to like stick it up or so or up it on the stand in front of the camera. So that's why when you're looking at it, it makes us think that you're looking at us rather than you actually looking hard through your notes and see where you are. So just little cheats. Like we don't get to know you looking at your notes. Like we think that you are trying to envision that you're in here looking at us. That time you're, you're on the third paragraph or in the tree, trying to see if that's persuasion or persuade or possession. Because you can't understand your handwriting. So that's just a bit of little tricks. And of course your vocal variety. Don't, again, we really want to feel those key points. You had a lot of teetone moments in your speech that, uh, that was able to help us, you know, reflect on the essence of beef, that how it affected us in the, in the past, and basically brought back a lot of moments where we didn't get to know. So I really enjoyed that aspect of it. So now, to your followers. So yeah. So, like you said, every time you speak, it's always, you're always growing, you're always learning, which I do enjoy. But just remember vocal variety, body language, posture. Don't be afraid to just let your inner presenter flow. Your only limits are yourself. And of course, you can break that limit anytime you're ready. So, thank you and look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. So, next up, we. Uh, last but certainly not least, our chairperson. Dear <laughs> <laughs> notes. I... Your chairmanship was interesting because you took us back to school and you basically allowed us to go back in time and remember some of our favorite classes, our favorite moments, even our favorite teacher. So, which is always good because, you know, when it comes to the chair, uh, chairmanship, you always want to be able to have the uh, audience engage and basically be able to enjoy the session as you transition through. There's two things I will caution you on. The first thing being, you don't want to step foot, step foot, step on the toes of the table talking master. Yeah. So even if people ask the question, you know, you don't want it to end up actually being like a table talking response because some of us can be very passionate with our answers. So that's something to be mindful of. Mindful of. That's for everyone when it comes to being a chat person. Next thing is the energy. Come on. I cannot wait to see the day when you let your inner firecracker just and it's I don't think we're ready. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not talking about when you're drinking. When you're drinking and you're dancing. <laughs> but, see, but when you're presenting, you know, of course, you know, you are the hype man of the session because we're following your tone, we're following your guidance as we go through the meeting. So we so we need you to bring that energy as the chairperson because we're feeding off of you. When you introduce another person, of course, that's why we do such random and fun introductions because we want to hype up the audience as well as hype up that person when they come up because at the end of the day you're the leader you're the side of the show you're bringing on your gas so we have to feed up the energy that's why i say energy you're good you're a good speaker you're a good presenter but of course that energy is needed so that we can basically feed off of your energy and help you have fun as you do even if you have to think to make it Yeah, I concur with everything you said. Let's <laughs> 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 All right, so now let's quickly go to our reports. So we have our commemorative report from TM Alonzo Austin. Yeah. 
Listening carefully to their language usage and their structure of um sentiment. <laughs> so um I'm gonna I will begin with um speaker number three, PM Menace. So Menace said, if you do your lying. <laughs> so, Tia Minis, um, you should be saying, um, if you do, you will be lying. Wow, I would never guess. <laughs> you clearly didn't because you didn't say it. Um, also, to continue on with Tia Minis, um, he also said, um, was just like um I don't think you have to add the just in there all you have to say was was like yeah um also the last statement that TM Minister said in the speech was I was just joking. Um TM Minister um all you have to say was um I was joking. Um, so moving on to TM Knowles. Oh, finish. Yeah. So TM Knowles, <laughs> um, he said, um, you need to hurry up, um, hurry up, come to Nassau. So to correct that sentence, um, I know. <laughs> you need to come to Nassau. Simple as that. Yeah. 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 Um. DTM Williams. <laughs> I don't know if I heard you, heard you right, um, but you said because after, but it's because after. Yeah. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I heard. Um, yeah. And moving on to TM Edwards. Um, you said it's a total marathon. But uh, just you just you have to, you just have to say um it's a marathon yeah and um T M Antonia she's not here so I don't know do I not it's okay T M Antonia um you clearly did not get that um. I end up doing business. Um, I did business, so I ended up doing business. Ended up business. Completed a business course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. And she also <laughs> said, I always learn about you. No, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. I oh, moving on to uh, yes, she won you. Chivanya. Um, she said, I go. TM Austin, and um, I would say um, I'm your grammarian tonight, and um, you can call on me anytime. Yes. Oh, um, Daniel, can I have a um? Can I say something, please? Sure. Who is a ah uh, and um counter because oh, Alonzo <laughs> did like thirty ah uh, um. <laughs> it was blowing my mind. We can turn in a Robin Gray elephant in the room. That was blowing. <laughs> 30 um and 10 uh, yeah, oh. I think I can confer too. 11. 11. Oh, wow. We did the work in that star. Speed. We, 
We don't need any more of those. Eleven That was oh, like twenty. Oh, eleven. <laughs> Lol. And she is simply Colton. It was Please help me and welcome our our uncle talk <laughs> in the person of PTM Giovanni Fiend. Can Alonzo get a prize for this arm because that was the most ever in the meeting? Like, be for real. Oh my god. TMD is back in the day. No. He used to get a fine. Yeah, yeah. So run the money. The, run the money. Run the money. Run the money. Yeah, TMD. When I saw Fox Little Dream first came into the club. The I'm for real. Focus, guys. <laughs> 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 the goal of the R and arm counter to make note to make note of members use um, speech crutches, non-literal repercussions, and pauses filters throughout the educational session. Mm -hmm. Um, TMD and lexicologists. Um, uh, yeah. twice and what? <laughs> I only go on my job. Don't hate me. <laughs> it's okay. This this my girl who did the A H U M. You you fine. You you cool. You're yeah, you're fine. You <laughs> TM minutes. Um, once. Can you put yours too? Because you just said um. Just, just put that out there. Yeah. 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 And then when they get yeah. it, uh, like two long, instead of because the, the treasury is gonna be so full tonight. I can't wait to tell Anthony this. It's just so crazy. PTM panel started once. Not a twice, I should say. Mm -hmm. Um, once. P.M. Curtis. Um, once, I uh, once, like three times. Mm -hmm. P.M. Hudson. What's Hudson? Hudson. 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 <laughs> Can we do a drum roll, please? Because I would love to hear this. Eleven She's hungry. I went to go drink to celebrate. I mean, <clears throat> all right. So, our last report, TM Wallace, would be the time of support. Are you ready? I'm ready. 
The role right. of the time let is to record all times and keep track of time, basically. The meeting started at 6.30 p.m. There was a 10-minute recess at 6.36, which ended at 6.46. The business and introduction session started at 6.47 in the last for 9 minutes and 27 seconds. The education session started at 6.57 p.m. The thought slash joke master session lasted for 9 minutes and 15 seconds. The lexicology session lasted for four minutes and 40 seconds. Table topics lasted for 11 minutes and 47 seconds. The first speaker spoke for three minutes and 15 seconds. The second speaker spoke for 40 seconds. Third speaker spoke for exactly one minute. The fourth speaker spoke for 45 seconds. And the fifth speaker spoke for one minute and 10 seconds. Then we went on to the speeches. Toastmaster Kalil Edwards spoke for six minutes and 30 seconds. DTM Ernesto G. Williams, who was the second speaker, spoke for seven minutes and 37 seconds. Then our final and third speaker for the evening which was Toastmaster Kareem Minutes, who spoke for nine minutes and 13 seconds. The general evaluation session is still going on, which has lasted for 25 minutes and 36 seconds. The evaluator of the soft slash, soft slash joke master lasted for one minute and 26 seconds. Evaluation of the lexicologist lasted for one minute and 20 seconds and two seconds. Evaluation of Table Topics Master lasted for one minute and 10 seconds. The evaluation of this first speaker lasted for one minute and 33 seconds. Evaluation of the second speakers lasted for one minute and 43 seconds. Evaluation of the third speaker lasted for three minutes. The grammarian spoke for four minutes and 25 seconds, and the hour um, counters report lasted for 30 for three minutes and six seconds. Evaluation of the chairperson lasts for two minutes and 16 seconds. That concludes, the time is now 8.42 and we are finishing this session at two minutes. That concludes your timer's report and I, you can call on me at any time. Why do you still have that one breath? Sorry. Thank you for such a detailed thank you everyone who spoke in this general evaluation session. You are all awesome. Look forward to seeing you all here in the very near future. I'll now yield the virtual, physical, and spiritual life of the chairperson who then yield it to the DCE, who will then yield over to me. I will not go far. <laughs> so, before I leave my, let's call it my chairperson session, a message from our speakers. If you think of suicide, remember, cause of ner nervousness, where fear can be a fuel. Now, if you think you're done, think again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. I love it. And your therapist session, your chairperson, and you call me at any time. So, at the VPE, if you enjoy our session, our classroom today, please get one of us. Thank you so much for inviting me. This is an awesome classroom session, and I hope to see all y'all again because I'll put you on the agenda. Amen. All y'all there. We know. To our president. First of all, let's give P.T. Rollins a round of applause for his first. Hi, the, the, the laptop or the phone went underneath water again. Did not hear nothing. <laughs> no, I said let's give P.T. Rollins a round of applause for his. First job on the agenda, see evaluator. Oh. Recognize Mr. Collins. Recognize. You can call on me anytime. Thank you. 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 Thank Announcements. Hey, you're gonna be. Um, 
So to the executive team, the budget meeting has been postponed. But successes beyond our control, such as the future is our Other announcements, maybe? Other, so go ahead. Executive announcements. We do need that club success plan ASAP and a few other things. Okay, so of course, we already set our goal, put our goals and stuff again. So we just need to fill it, like copy and paste it into the form and a few other things. Uh, question announcement. A question. Anybody have anything special happening, like an uh, event that you're doing, a part of anything outside of Toastmasters that you're doing that you could let us know? What's feel, the next event? Feel free. Feel free to let us know. Oh! Thanks for reminding me. <clears throat> but we have been invited during the month of October to attend the graduation ceremony of the of the Bahamas Correctional. Ah, those persons, the prisons, graduation graduation of their new okay. recruits by yeah. our good Toastmaster Walker Sons. Oh, okay. You guys made it. So of course that is here in October. He's going to announce today. He's, he's going to have another day, and he wants me and missionaries to very much attend. I may not be able to attend, but of course, yeah, yeah I start my new job apparently sometime one day. Oh, okay, congratulations! Can you sing him? No. Okay, we don't say no. Yeah, no. I, I, I believe that you should go inside. Anyway, so yeah. So, of course, this month, we're, I'm still looking to finalize the date for our beach cleanup, community mm -hmm. service. And, of course, we have our first social movie night, which is going to be on Saturday. We're going to be watching Blue Beetle, right? Yes. And, of course, there are a few other things to come. Please look out for the agenda for the mock court that be, that's going to be coming up. There are always fun, so mm -hmm. who knows? You may be able to play a role that you never have been able to play, and maybe you can see the start on it. With that being said, please monitor your pathways. If you're the new personal sign on to your pathways here, yeah, please see one of your executives so we can help you because we do need to make sure you're actually learning in the program. Right. And that goes to executives as well as managers. Right. Thank you. The very last thing if you want to be on the agenda, talk to Toastmaster Knowles anytime he'll plug you in into a spot. And if, and if you're on the agenda, you're unable to make yeah. your role on the agenda. Yeah. Please contact your BP, let him know, as well as with some with contact someone who could stand in for you. Yeah. So it doesn't make sense that you you see you're on the agenda and you just decide that you're not showing up because you want to set to work and you're going to public community affairs. Yeah. It's still communication. Yes, you're not paid to be able to still take a job, you need to communicate. Let us know, hey. I'm, I'm unable to attend, or I'm unable to do my work, I'm unable to speak, if this is the case. Find someone who can step in. The chairperson may be able to do the work for you because the chairperson is always ready. Mm -hmm. I've done chairmanship, table topics, and been a speaker on it during the second meeting mm -hmm. or the first meeting, so it's possible. But just let us know. Let us know we can help you, and of course, we're here for it. But that being said, anyone else can speak to you? What is our topic to be announced? To be announced, yes. Okay. But we will be in this room for the remainder of the semester just to accommodate another class of maybe 30 plus. Yeah, I'm going to deal with that. But we had a class of maybe 30 plus students. We needed to split it. And the only other place that could accommodate them was the B block. So, of course, we put them in there. So, we'll just be in the B block for the remainder of the semester. Okay. Right? But of course, I'll see you all on Saturday at the social. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More information to be announced, of course, tickets, pricing, and everything. Yeah, time and available for the day before, or even on the day of the day. So, with that being said, with that being said, please, please want to go. You may have a smooth because you talk too much at times, but just every so often, chat to see what updates will be posted. In. With that being said, Nux will score once, twice. Can I have a motion for adjournment, please? Yes, Mr. President, if I may. Recognize the channel. Thank you so much for acknowledging me, Mr. President. I listen to Mr. Pastor and Mr. Williams. Move to be adjourned at this, this meeting of Visionary 754. Triple A board. board. Until next week, Wednesday, 6 30 p.m., right here at Rose Planet.
Seconded by those muscles of dream. It has been moved and seconded by the Timberland Assembly. The TM will dream that we adjourn tonight's meeting of the Chess Empire Portugal in March. Anyone opposed, please speak now so that we can truly get out of I mean, <laughs> all of us. <laughs> 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 Or officer Shinko once, going twice. It has been moved, seconded, and closed that we adjourn tonight's meeting of the show. Seven by four. Triple H one. And talk back to Charlie. Good evening. Thank you all for coming off. They all still be safe. Go for the Zoom call. Hey, good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> 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 Yes, I love you. <laughs> I did not realize that. Um, well, be creative. I can um, be creative here. Oh, but they have to get the call, so be creative. But as you do it, well, then. He left at midnight. He left right before. This is you talking about the party to this day. That was everything. I was going to the I I could not be in the house. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to do it. Oh, my God.